Uh, you know, one of the things that I find very interesting about the left is that in the 60s, they were, you know, wanting to have free love and, you know, have sex on the campus. And now they're the biggest prudes in America. Uh, you know, the only, the only time they're in favor of heterosexual sex is when it's a movie director having sex with a teenager. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a, uh, I mean, what happened there? And, you know, I, I really think that in about 20, 30 years, men are just going to snap and get so fed up with all this crap because, I mean, you know, there was a guy in England or England who was arrested because he was a widower and he was traveling with his teenage, or he wasn't arrested, but they called the police because he was a widower and had his teenage daughter with him because they thought he was, you know, doing something inappropriate. I mean, what are we going to do about this war on men and this war on heterosexual men, especially? Well, as one of the commanders in the war, I, uh, <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't even know what that meant. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I'm not sure there is such a war to begin with, but, but I, um, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you are sane. Um, is that, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there is, I mean, there is this, I mean, there's this kind of claim made. I mean, there are some, um, to be honest, I, there are some claims made by the men's rights movement that I think some make sense when it comes to like divorce and things like that. But I think when it comes to the world in general, heterosexual men seem to have it pretty good most of the time. Um, compared to homosexuals in most of the Muslim world and the trans people and stuff, I think straight males pretty have it good. I, I mean, if there is one privilege that I have is that I'm a straight male. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I, well, I, I in would those say societies too, they, they have enough people to reproduce, which is not the case in all these feminist societies. I, I would say check out, if you want more about this, check out an interview I did with, um, oh, who's the girl from Red Pill? I'm blanking on her name, sorry. Cassie J. Uh, Cassie J, thanks. Uh, and we go pretty deep into this. And she did a documentary all about this, so I would say uh, check that out. But, but just that, I mean, there are 7 billion people on this planet. Why do we need to reproduce anyway? So I think that, uh, I mean, isn't it enough we have seven billion on this planet? I think that maybe we need more feminist societies to reduce reproduction, not increase it. I think that, don't you think that seven billion people is more than enough? Like, just imagine this, and half of them are probably idiots. So like, what the hell? Like, the, the, the less we pr reproduce, the